Um, stupid teammates. Got them. Good damage games, yet a loss. Got them. People who haven't got a clue how to play, yes, in the shameful medals. Got them as well. Lovely stuff. Games you'd rather forget, but it's still a win. Yes, I think we have all the ingredients here for another episode, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the of the weekend gaming experience. Or call it World of Dummies or whatever. It's uh, it's a series which highlights games that happen during the weekend, or maybe not during the weekend, but it's it's you know it's weekend gaming experience. It, it's when it's when all the weekend warriors come out who just play for fun, and we all play for fun in, in a way. But some people play for fun just to drive around and shoot tanks. Some people play for fun just to drive around and shoot, and some people play for fun to just drive around in the first place and um, so yeah let's <laughs> let's hop in we've got the dr. Stang MD here from the cruel clan in the Rheinmetall Borsig Waffentreger as you can see and he uh, he was shooting that uh, T-54 lightweight and to be honest and I think it was it was the best move to, to shoot uh, the HE shell would have been better maybe shooting with an AP shell but now HC, let's aim, auto aim, here we go, click, boom, yes, yeah, thank you, that's the first kill, lovely stuff, I mean, Reds have captured base C, uh, his team is completely bundled up around A, we look at us, we're, we're nicely held down over here, Reds cannot capture A, that's good, that's good, that's good, and Dr. Stang has a big gun, he has some support, as you can see from that AMX 1375, he's going to shoot the, yes, there we go, to, to the, to the turret. yes, good shot, 607 damage on the uh, Super Pershing, that's a bit annoying, I mean, you get a 640 Alpha gun and you roll for 607. And 9 out of 10 times, if stuff like that happens, then you can already figure out what type, uh, what type of game it is going to be. But, well, it's not, it's not too little too late yet. He can still shoot this guy in the lower plane. Yes, that is a good roll. Thank you very much, RNG. We've got two kills. We've done uh, 1841 damage, 100% complete destruction on the Super Persian who's not feeling that super anymore. Uh, but the game is not a win at all. I mean, Reds have got C captured still. There is an FCM 50T over there behind the bunker. And that's an annoying tank. I mean, you can penetrate him easily. That's no problem whatsoever. You have some support of this uh, this guy. Oh, no, don't, don't, go, don't go behind the bunker. I have a nice little 50 centimeter shell for you over here. But you can see he's got some support of a T-34, the clown tank. Um, but that FCM 50T is on the flank. And that's probably the most annoying thing at the moment. It's not the fact that it's an FCM 50T. It's the fact that he's on a flank. Can we... Yes, we can. 643. How about that? Lovely stuff. But still, but still, Reds have got C cap. In terms of tanks, it's fine. I mean, the one tank down, Reds are two tanks down. That is not looking that bad at all. Hello, SU. <laughs> 685. Thank you very much. Tiger 1 on Tiger 1. That's a tank taken out. This is all looking good. But remember, we had this checklist over here. Uh, let me figure that one out again. It was on the other page. 
Yes, this one falls in, in the category of uh, two, basically. Dumb teammates, that's one. And second, teammates not knowing how to play supremacy. So hold on to your horses. Dr. Stang uh, dropped this one on the Discord channel uh, and he basically stated on it uh, or he captioned it with why comment why it could be like a song you know you just uh, just uh, I don't know any song why comment why or just uh, a Shakespearean song and Dr. Stanger yes thank you that guy doesn't know what to do either he's just looking forward I mean the boy it's not that the Borsig had to be spotted before they could have known the Borsig was here but they decided to somewhat ignore him uh, but Dr. Stang is just sitting here and there might, might be Boobers stating well he should have gone forward, he should have gone into A cap or he should have gone towards the flank. Yeah, maybe he should, maybe he shouldn't. Uh, um, I don't really know if he, if, if he should have gone towards that flank or not. Because it is a 2 versus 3 at the moment. And the main problem with teammates like this that just scatter around and don't, that don't have a really a clue what to do, that means that they don't know how to support a tank like a Borsig either, or a T28 or a T95 for that matter. Because it's a weekend gaming experience, they don't get along a lot. They're probably looking at the clock thinking, Ooh, look, look, mommy, it's two minutes left still on the clock. I've never been alive for this long. And uh, Dr. Stang is going to load HE Russia. There we go. Thank you very much. 74 splash damage. This should be in the back, guys. This should be in the back. We've got base B, we've got base C, that is a tiger over there. And all that this comet has to do now is uh, spot the tiger, is keep him lit. Thank you. Oh, that's annoying. That shot misses. That is annoying. Uh, but all this uh, tank has to do now, the comet, is just roll back. Roll back slightly. <laughs> you might start wondering now, or figuring out now why uh, Dr. Stang named this. Uh, replay uh, uh, while which doctor in the comment is calling for help why he named this why comment why <laughs> uh, this calls for a big F <laughs> in the chat below why comment why or maybe just type that why comment why or come up with here's a good one here's a good one can you please tell me give me one reason why this comment didn't go backwards just try to come up with a with a, with a reason the creative why comment why 5k damage in the boss and maybe he should have moved a little bit but yeah just <laughs> sorry buddy <laughs> ultimate weekend gaming experience teammates that are dumb and do not know how to play right um next one what was it then um uh, right this was teammates not knowing how to play supremacy yes this one shameful medals and Games that you don't want to remember that long, but it's still a win. We're looking at Lowlander PL in the uh, in the 87, and he's got a lot of guns. He's only allowed to use one, but I think I mean if you look at this tank, I'm I'm pretty certain that this is just uh, some made-up designer, just paper designer, whatever. It is. Uh, it's got a lot of machine guns on top. You can see that. Machine gun sticking out on, on, on the back and um, on the front as well, and it has that strange <laughs> asymmetrical shape of a 70 pounder gun. At least I think that's what it is a 70 pounder gun. And it has a uh, another machine gun on the left, and then the commander sits in the middle somewhat. And it has a cupola, and, and I mean, guns can travel far, that, that's all well and good. He's uh, going for the long distance. Uh, on distant shots, uh, as you can see, he's uh, one minute into the game, trundling forward, and you could well state now that uh, he picked the wrong flank. <laughs> that's 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 the nature of an 87. That's the nature of 80, the 80 series all along. The 82, 88, 80, 15, 87, you name it, they've got it. The 80 series. If you go to a flank, you're pretty much stuck there. And if you're on Yamato Harbor, then you can get stuck on these, uh, how do you call it actually, those pillars which uh, are, are used to, 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 to dock the ships. Anyway, Lowlander is thinking, right, I can just sit here and miss a shot. I can sit here and drive backwards. I can sit and turn to the left and right. This is looking good, looking at my tank track. Thank you very much. Can I shoot you? No, we can't. But look at the clock. <laughs> We've had the stupid teammates 
we've had the shameful medals. This is a shameful medal. I'm, I mean, serious. This, <laughs> you all know what's going to happen now, don't you? You all know what's going to happen now. We've had the map, the game already, where teammates had no clue how to play Supremacy. Well, this is the map where probably the entire red team is just pinging now and, and telling everybody, guys, guys, there is a guy on the cap. Hello, wee, 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 there's a siren going off. Uh, guys, it's it's 78, somebody has to reset the cap. Uh, dudes, oh, he's saying GG guys low in, in global chat. He's such an asshole. Why is he doing that? Come you, play like a man. You little, you little bugger. Come to me. One versus one me in a training room and I will make mincemeat of you. Yeah, sure, buddy, but uh, <laughs> we've won. <laughs> and Lola and the PL dropped this one uh, on the Discord as well and said, well, I don't know. I don't know if I should laugh or if I should should, should just feel very ashamed. Well, a win is a win, mate, and you got the Raider medal. And if there's one medal that's pretty rare these days in World of Tanks, is the, is this one, the, the Raiders medal. Yeah, <laughs> had to include this one. I mean, it was a week in the gaming experience, wasn't it? It, it fits the theme. It fits the theme of World of Dummies. <laughs> and so does this one. And if you watch the thumbnail closely, then you might figure out already what's going to happen on this one. Tanker2 underscore 3 from the Doom Clan. He's going forward in his pink E100, looking at the back towards his T57 Heavy. And the tank is finally moving, so he's late into the game. It might not mean anything, but sometimes you're looking at the teammate and you start thinking, Oh boy. You're looking at them and you start thinking, Oh, they're not moving. This might just be a loss. Well, we are on Canyon. Now we all know, everybody and their dog knows, that if you go to Canyon, you have to have some support in the middle. I'm not saying you have to push five tanks in there like the green team is doing here. That's my, that's just makes things a bit crowded. I wouldn't do that if that I were them, but uh, they are doing so. Uh, and the T183 is doing a good job by, uh, by sitting in the middle. That's good. This uh, T54 is not doing a good job by getting shot for 672. But you have to have some support in the middle. If you don't have somebody trying to at least spot the other flank, then usually you will lose the game. Unless you make a really hardcore pressure straight through either the northern flank or the uh, the eastern flank. Can you feather this shot? No, oh, come on, come on. Hello, yes. Aim, lead the shot, lead the shot. That's an HE shell. <laughs> Lovely stuff. I mean, he's 600 damage dealt already. That's quite respectable, quite good. Can do better, of course, in the E100, and he will do better. And we're only one minute and 30 seconds into the game, and the first, the first two tanks have died. But both on on his team, a tank has died, and on the red team, a tank has died. So that's all well and good. And tanker two underscore three is just simply rolling forward. He is he has spotted the group. He's got to shoot this Yak Panzer E100. They're gonna move back a little bit. But you can see what's going to happen here now. We have a Progetto and a T57 Heavy closing the distance towards two of the biggest guns in the game. And that means that both the T57 Heavy and the Progetto are going to die. Weekend gaming experience. This is what happens. And... In hindsight, tanker 2 underscore 3 might have started thinking, dude, I should have stayed on that little rock towards the, the run, that little mount of rubble and earth, and not, not on this one, because now I am caught between the Jagdpanzer E100 and the I-7 and the grill behind the house on the left. Um, and that's not good, because at the moment it's 2 versus 6, and this T-123 that's still alive is doing an admirable job of staying alive. And this is an HE shell from that uh, from that grill. And yes, he may not have needed to take this damage from from the uh, from the IS-7. Gets a good roll 659 into the lower plate. But we all know, guys, that this is just these are too many guns. The Reds have got the center now, as you can see. They've cleared the middle. The the, the projector just rolled in. The T-57 have it just rolled in. And yes, good shot in there. 5.5 good dam damage. That's already respectable. And I've said it multiple times, if you can do this in uh, tier 10 constantly, then you're bound to win more. Well, he's not going to win this one. Of course he won't. I mean, he's getting bum-rushed from, from all sides now. 
Got to put one more shot into the object 268. Can he put more damage into the 268? Just roll forward, angle a little bit. Just try to angle as much as possible. Bounce one shot from the STB, I think. Yes, shoot the object 268 one more time. Then go forward, ram him, do, yes, a little bit more damage, and he's done for. 7k. GG, says the Jagdpanzer, even on the GG, WP. But not so much fun, because 7k was not enough, and will never be enough when you have three donuts on your team. And, and a projectile, which penetrated one shot. So yeah, there you have it. Got them all done. Weekend Gaming Experience, thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you all tomorrow.